All right, your next act <laughs> was born in Korea, and he's now a staple of the Los Angeles comedy scene. Really funny guy, make him feel welcome, Kevin Shea. Hey, hey. So, I got this rich friend, right? Not like rich in life or rich in spirit. Money, shit that matters. And <laughs> he started this company called YouTube.com. Have you guys heard of that? Yeah, of course you have. And he was my college roommate for four years. And he sold to Google last year for $1.6 billion. Let me repeat that for the peasants. $1.6 <laughs> billion dollars. I fucking hate him. I hate him. We can't hang out anymore. We don't have anything in common. Like, we're at dinner, and we're eating, right? And I'm just getting more and more pissed off at him until I snap. I'm like, dude, are you going to pay for this shit or what? <laughs> Buy me a castle. <laughs> we haven't talked in like four months. Because in college, we used to play this dumb hypothetical game. I don't know if you guys went to college or played games, but <laughs> the name of the game was called Would You Suck a Dick for a Million Dollars? <laughs> Do you see my dilemma here? I just don't want to have this conversation with a friend of 10 years because it's going to be weird and awkward. I don't want him calling me up one day like, Kevin, what's up, man? I'm like, what's going on? He's like, I got some money. You want to hang out? Hold on, man. Hold on. <sighs> yeah, man, what time? <clears throat> Rape is weird. Uh, I'm not taking it lightly, and I understand it's a rude thing to do, so fellas, don't do it. Uh, it's just mean, and it hurts. I know I went to church camp, but... <laughs> relax. All I'm saying is be careful how you use the word rape, because people take it very literal. For example, I was at Whole Foods the other day. I don't know if you guys like that place. I'm not a fan, because I think it's uh, overpriced and full of hippie employees, and they hate you because you wear socks. <laughs> so fuck them. Anyway, I was there, and I bought an apple. I bought one apple for three dollars. I bought a three dollar apple. Not the whole bushel or the immigrant that picked it, just one apple. <laughs> so I ate this dumb apple and I went home to my girlfriend at the time. I was like, you're not going to believe what happened to me today. I just got raped at Whole Foods. <laughs> and she was like, oh my God, are you okay? <laughs> Didn't you have your whistle? I was like, really? You fucking idiot, I hate you. I was like, really, a whistle? Really? Does anyone have a whistle here? No, it's bullshit, it's false sense of security. That's all I'm saying. There's no way some crazy, psycho, horny dude is stopping to this. Do, do. Especially if he's a crazy Asian dude, because to us it sounds like techno music. It's like, do. Dude, keep blowing, bitch. Dude. I'm going to get my glow sticks in a second. <laughs> so I just got out of a four-year relationship. Four. <laughs> Thank you. She was nuts. Uh, she was trying to get pregnant to save the relationship. She was off the birth control pill for three months. Apparently, right, if you're a girl and you've been on the pill for too long a time, your body needs a break. And I was like, baby, I hope that's true, because if it's not, I'm going to stab you in the face. Because <laughs> I'm sensitive. But here's the thing. I got a little suspicious. I was like, honey, bunny, <clears throat> you're only 23. How long have you been on the pill? She's like, since I was 13. And I was like, whore! Whore! For like an hour, I did this. 
I couldn't stop. I just kept repeating it over and over and over again. I felt like a Mexican soccer player who just scored a goal. I just kept running around in circles going, Hoor! and then I took off my shirt and I headbutted her. Anyway, we went to her gynae to find other forms of contraceptives, and he was like, Kevin, you can always wear a condom. I was like, Doc, you can always go to hell. <laughs> Or two, you can get these morning after pills. Do you guys know what these are? These are these magical pills made by hobbits. <laughs> and you take them the next day in case you mess up. We got eight cases because I'm real lazy, but... Do you know that the brand of these pills is actually called Plan B? I find... <laughs> whores! Anyway. I find it hilarious, because Plan A of coming on her face didn't work out. Do you know the timing involved with that is? You got to be like a jizz ninja to get that correct. It looks easy on the DVD. But I'm telling you, there's a lot of steps involved. First, you got to back up, right? And then you got to walk around. She was a giant bitch. She was half Mexican. And then, and then she's got to put her goggles on. By this point, she looks like Dr. Octopus. Now I can't finish. It's just a silly joke. She would never let me do that. She wasn't that type of chick. That's why we broke up. But. She knew exactly when to stop me every time. It was uncanny. Just when I'm about to nut, she woke up. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, aha! <laughs> ah, ooh, you're dreaming. Ooh, open your mouth. Anyway, before I did this, I had a day job. I used to work for an internet company called AltaVista. If you don't know what it is, it's like a search engine, just like Google. But there's subtle differences. Let me explain. Uh, let's say Google was like Target. AltaVista would be a free t-shirt on the ground. <laughs> I hated my job, but you know what? I didn't put up with it. I was a fucking man. I quit. Or got laid off. I don't know. Whatever the difference is, <laughs> doesn't matter. But I'm gone. There's a lot of people in this world who have shitty jobs and they're stuck. And it's really sad. It really is. For example, I was at Denny's the other day and I saw this waitress crying. And I was like, oh my God. Where the fuck are my eggs? Go in the kitchen, hooker. I can't eat with you sobbing in my face like that. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. Kevin Shea, let him hear it. <laughs>